Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're seeing new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's one way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. Problem 120, considering all losses, determine the discharge in the system. All changes in cross-sections are sudden and entrance and exit conditions are flushed. Recompute the discharge if minor losses were neglected. So supposedly not because for, for this pipe here, the length is 100 meters and the condition is the minor loss or minor losses could be neglected if the length of the pipe is longer than 1,500 times pipe, di pipe diameter. So 1,500 times 0 0.1 meter, 100 mm, so 0 0.1 is 150. This is only 100, so supposedly the minor losses should not be neglected. Same is true with this pipe here. Uh, 1,500 times 0.2 is 300. This is only 250. So, but anyway, for the second part, let's uh, satisfy the condition. So first, let's consider all losses. So we write for our solution, we write energy equation between points A and B. So imagine A would be point A is a point on the water surface in the upper reservoir and that be point on the water surface in the lower reservoir and the datum is chosen to be through this water surface so that we have velocity head so this is the direction of flow called that v1 this is v sub 2 so velocity head or 15 or velocity head at A0, elevation head, pressure head 0, elevation head 15 equals velocity head at B0, pressure head 0, elevation head 0, then plus head loss from A to B. Therefore, 15 is the head loss from A to B. And this head loss consists of the head loss at pipe entrance, which is 0.5 of the velocity head which is 0.5 of v sub 1 square over 2g then the head loss in this pipe by pipe friction darcy weiss back formula so fl over d v v1 square over 2g 0 0.02 length 100 over diameter 0.1 velocity head in this pipe so v1 square over 2g then head loss due to sudden expansion which is quantity v sub 1 minus v sub 2 square over 2g so remember the formula for sudden expansion or enlargement then plus head loss due to pipe friction in this pipe so by manning's formula 6.35 n square so 0 0.011 square length then 250 velocity square over diameter to the four thirds so velocity is v sub 2 square over diameter 0.2 to the four thirds then head loss at pipe exit submerged exit is velocity head or 1 times velocity head so 1 times v sub 2 square over 2g or simply v sub 2 square over 2g then we combine like terms 2g is 19.62 so 15 equals 1.03625 v sub 1 square plus quantity v sub 1 minus v sub 2 square over 2g then plus combining these two is equal to 1.6933 v sub 2 square by continuity equation pi over 4 diameter of pipe 1 square times v1 equals pi over 4 diameter of pipe 2 square times v sub 2 so pi over 4 uh, will be cancelled then we only 
have diameter. So 100 mm square or 100 square times V1 equals 200 square times V sub 2. So expressing V sub 1 in terms of V sub 2, V sub 1 is 4 times V sub 2. Substitute here. So 15 equals 1.03625 times 4 times V sub 2 square plus quantity 4 V sub 2 minus V sub 2 quantity square over 2G or 19.62 plus 1.6933 V sub 2 square. So combining like terms, 15 equals 18.732 V sub 2 square. From here, we can compute V sub 2, and V sub 2 is equal to 0.89486 meter per second. Finally, we can now compute the discharge. This is mean velocity of flow in pipe 2. So we use area of pipe 2. So Q equals pi over 4 times 0.2 square times 0.89486 times 1000 to express the discharge in liters per second. So the discharge is equal to 28.11 liters per second. Then for the second part, we ignore minor losses. So we consider only major losses and these are the major losses second and the second to the last terms so 15 equals 0 0.02 times 100 over 0.1 velocity head 1 plus 6.35 times 0 0.011 square times 250 v sub 2 square over 0.2 to the 4 thirds substituting the value of v1 which is 4 times v sub 2 so and then combining like terms so we have 4 v sub 2 square over 2g plus 6.35.011 square times 250 v sub 2 square over 0.2 to the 4 thirds so 15 equals 17.952 v sub 2 square so from here we can compute v sub 2 v sub 2 is 0 0.91409 meter per second then the discharge ignoring minor losses is pi over 4 times 0.2 square times 0 0.91409 times 1000 so the discharge is equal to 28.72 liters per second so there's a, a lesser change increase but this is the more accurate one because we consider losses and we should not uh, ignore it although the change is very small or minimal